we're back from a commercial break. I don't know how long I took, but whatever. Damn, Fire Gray be putting up some real work. Yeet. Oh shit, that's not good. Salt and salt. Man, this fight is getting so intense. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'll be able to win this. And that was not effective. Somersault. Yes, I did. Oh my gosh. That felt like an eternity in my opinion. I missed that attack, but whatever. I was on a roll there. Yeah, serves you right, punk. I did it. Oh, I'm fighting against those maids that I don't really like. Well, I suppose this should be a bit satisfying. And if I remember correctly in the um, original Tsukiyumi, or however you say it, I'm sorry, they were kind of weirdos to Shiki Tono. I don't think he deserved that, but either way, what the hell? Some characters just get dumped on so horribly in my opinion. Freaking Shiki Tono, Gilgamesh, Sakura, those are characters that just don't deserve hate from fans or just in general. Outside of Nasuverse, hmm, oh man, the amount of characters I could list that are overly shat on. Jin from Tekken because of the fact nobody liked his bad boy motif. Especially in like Tekken 6 because I heard like this was transitioning to Lars as the protagonist which didn't age well. Then we have Izuku Midoriya, who's literally the punching bag of, um, versus battles. Like, I get my hero fans are toxic, but still, he doesn't deserve that hate, and especially placed at such a low tier that isn't relevant to him. Because he's Continental, he fought Nine, who was going to cause Continental damage. But people say he's, like, building city level tier, whatever, and a glass cannon. But at least, to some extent, he can control, like, that quote-unquote glass cannon state. AKA the backlash from one for all. But he doesn't always have to break his limits to beat his opponent. Last one's a non combat based thing, but fucking call it from 101 Domination Street. I know someone that literally wants to kill her. TLDR, bad sister jokes, bad person jokes, yada yada yada, all that jazz. Most people say that. And there's a person that literally thinks that way. Anyways, yay, I did it. Why would I ramble this whole match talking about some random ass shit? I don't know, but oh well. I subconsciously did it. Yada yada yada. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, Saber. I was not expecting an interaction that was so wholesome. Oh my gosh, we should be friends. Yikes! She hit her with those bitch slaps. But oh, wait, those were her. Oh, Damn, Artoria, you are getting serious. Alco committed police brutality on Saber. Sorry, excuse my dry sense of humor. Oh man, my day's always tiring for sure. Also, excuse that rambling, but whatever. I always wake up to do exercise by walking around, and then when I get back, I have to do some... Ugh. 
school stuff and it can suck. And then about 95% of the time I overexert myself from doing it and that's not good for my mental health. Sob story aside, I'm very glad that I got into this game. It's pretty fun and yes, I landed at Arc Drive. Okay, but Saber has the best KO scream in this game. Oh, just another generic quote. She doesn't even say anything to Saber. Oh, story battle time. I was somewhat expecting Roa, to be honest. But this will be an impressive feat to jot down. <laughs> His laughing pose is just badass. I really want to see him fight Gilgamesh, or interact with him. Okay, but that interaction was hilarious. Also, I'm kind of rushing here. Uh, Bro is just a pain to fight. He's a big fat meanie. That was fun.